Welcome to Watch Chat, where we chat about watches and other facts of life. This is my state of the collection on watches I have acquired in year 2022. At the end of every year, I will usually do a video on the state of my collection for watches I have acquired that year and my short experience having them. And this year is no exception. If you've missed my SOTC video for the year 2020 and 2021, I'll put a link in the description below. Yes. I have a watch addiction problem and I can't help it. In year 2022, I've acquired 8 watches. The first I've acquired is the Bloomberg Bolt 68 Racing Light Blue Stripe. This 45mm Swiss made watch is a real fashionista. The striking blue and orange pattern on the yet subtle design just screams for attention. The unique bullhead blueprint makes it easy to use the chronograph function. The interchangeable wristwatch slash pocket watch function is also a pretty fun feature to have. I've not made a review video on this watch. However, if you are interested to have a review video on this, do drop me a line in the comments below and if there are enough interest on this watch, I may consider making a review video on it. The second watch I've acquired is the Gorilla Fastback Carbon GT Drift Elise Limited Edition. This is a real fun watch to wear. It's light, it's vibrant, and it has a running hour complication. A complication you will see on brands like Uruk, H. Moser and C, and until very recently, Audima Piquet. The case construct on this is amazing. It uses different types of materials and is chamfered very well on the edges with multiple angles. I really do enjoy wearing this watch. Yes, it is on a larger scale, but on days I like to let loose and dress down, I like to wear them big. The third watch I've acquired is the JPN 130R Black Rib. In 2021, I bought the Navy Blue Dial. In 2022, I got this, with the red printing and red chrono seconds hand. The background on the date is black blending in well with the dial. This is a limited edition, luckless, carbon fiber case, grade 5 titanium parts, solar powered, chronograph, with one of the most comfortable rubber strap priced at only 1000 USD. The JPN 130R is also one of my most carefree watch to wear that I can use to match my outfit easily with those switchable rubber strap. The fourth watch I have here is another limited edition watch. Looks like 2022 is a year of limited edition for me, LOL. This is the Seiko Prospect SPB257J1 Black Series Limited Edition. This is such a cool looking watch. I love wearing this especially with my biker jackets. The black, orange and off-white indices just blend in so well giving it a very classy and yet outgoing look. Love that turtle design case. It's just so unique. Although the head weighs 106 grams, the entire watch together with the rubber strap only weighs 111 grams, making it still a very comfortable watch to wear, especially with that rubber strap. The fifth watch I have here is the Grand Seiko 44GS 55th Anniversary Limited Edition SLGA013. This is a truly underrated piece. I think this is one of the best everyday watch GS has made. The bling on those Zerasu polish indices stands out pretty quickly under natural lighting. The three-dimensional subtle dial also gives plenty of definition contrasting it with the sweeping rose gold second hand. On top of that, the ever brilliant steel used on the case and bracelet just trumps over all the other 904 or 316L steel used by the other watchmakers out there. Over time, I think this will be a collectible piece. The devil that I got here is the Rolex Yardmaster reference number 116622. 
I don't think it requires much introduction. I like this watch because it is one of those low-key Rolexes, but yet not that low in value. Wearing this watch just gives out that vibe of, I've got a little secret that you don't know. Do you get it? What do you think? The seventh watch I got here is the very sexy looking Breitling B25 Datora 42. I mean, just look at it, how sexy it looks. This salmon dial is a real head turner. I mean, this isn't a shy watch to begin with. Couple it with the symmetrical proportion watch design, it just looks stunning. The last watch I have here is my most anticipated watch, the Charles Giradier Magic 8 Cobalt Blue. This is a limited production and individually numbered timepiece. I have yet to do a review video on this baby yet. Once I've done so, I will put the link in the description below. This watch is so elegant looking and the workmanship is so refined. The striking blue just makes this a perfect watch for a black tie event. I really like the animation feature of the swirling 8 slash infinity motif. It's just so elegantly done. Anyway, these are the 8 watches I've collected this year. What do you think of my sex pile here? Let me know in the comments below. As we've come to the end of the year, let us reflect and appreciate the things that has happened to us in our life and strive to do better in the following year. Watch Chat wishes you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. If you like this kind of video, please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification icon to support me and I'll really appreciate it and promise to make more videos like this. Until the next one, thank you for watching.